your backs in. So, 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 <laughs> okay, so you're math coaches. Yeah. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Keller, Texas. Keller, Texas, yeah. and K4, K5? Uh, we're K4 elementary, but we are also just grade. And what are you, ma'am? Teacher, Okay, wonderful. We just had Tierno here, who's one of the authors at Prince George's. They've been using this, and he goes, "You can't believe what's happening with the kids." So, anyways, I'll get, I'll get, I'll go to this. Do you know what the Wreck and Wreck is? We use them for number talks. Oh, wonderful. We've improved on it. We improved on the Wreck and Wreck, and the Wreck and Wreck is wonderful, right? Yeah, it's the Wreck amazing. and Wreck. Is a conceptual tool. It's fantastic, but there are a challenge. There's a challenge with it, and that's too many kids are coming into K1 environment lacking a constructivist framework. Which is to say, they can't even count to five. They can't recognize numbers zero through ten. A lot of teachers can't even begin engaging kids with the rec and rec until late in spring of their kindergarten year. We change the game. We have a rec and rec on this side, a math line on this side. A mistake-free connection to number allows students to give meaning to number and to understand what those symbols mean, right? So they can quickly establish a constructivist framework in which to understand math. Then you flip it back around, and there you go. You can do all your rec and rec work on this side. So this mistake-free correspondence is really helpful for understanding basic math. The constant visual support is the key, right? When they always can see the number, that's the important aspect to it, all right? So let me just give you a quick example. This is your conceptual side, this is your procedural math side. We add above 10 for the first time in kindergarten. Six plus seven on a rec and rec, we add them together, our 10's composed there, we get our three ones, fantastic. When we work up to the procedure of six plus seven, we go five, six, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we add them to get 10 and three more. The student is always seeing the symbol, right? They're always seeing the symbol. Now this is your Didax for $10, Didax Rec and Rec. You can twist it with your fingers and snap it. This guy right here, try, try to break that. Pretty, pretty sturdy. Do you see your kids being able to break that? It's four dollars and ninety-five cents. It's half the price of your standard record rack. Okay. Then you have your record math line one hundred. Okay. For first, second grade, all your composition and decomposition to one hundred, counting and skip counting activities, all your uh, recognition, number recognition, all your games and activities to one hundred. Rec and rec side, math line side. They're very dynamic in a learning environment. They sit on their end, they sit on their back side. They can be used in a small group environment, right? But no matter, 23.95, here at the show, $22. Can you? Then we have something very exciting for third, fourth grade. Or See? even for seventh graders who aren't multiplying. Right. Yep. Kids, kids, and, kids working at a third, fourth math skill level, okay? So we're seeing a lot of these going into the middle schools right now. Rec and rec side, math line side. The longer bars allow for conceptual development of multiplication and division. For example, what if we're in a third grade environment and we're talking about six times three for the first time? And the student, we ask the students to build a picture of six times three. So a student says, okay, I'm gonna build my partial products like this. Six groups of three right here. Another student says, I'm gonna build it on three bars, right? I'm going to build it on three bars, like this. This student multiplies 10, 4, and 4 is 18. This student multiplies 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right? They're seeing the partial see products it? different yeah, ways. Yes. Yes. Right? So now they're setting up so they have a conceptual basis for understanding multiplication. Then we work up to the procedure of 6 times 3. One group of 3, two groups of 3. Now we're just building the linear array. Four groups of 3, five groups of 3, six groups of 3. A concrete representation, I'm going to let you multiply those over, push them over. And what do we get? We always see the symbol. No other tool so clearly brings the conceptual with the procedural and connects with the symbol in a mistake-free way, all in one moment, all in one action. All right, it brings it together for the learner. So what we have here 
we have the support materials focusing on number sense of building number, what's called building number series, and then we have the understanding operations. It all depends on the tool. So in our catalog, it's pretty straightforward. You can buy the tools at any amount, individually, or you can get them in sets. The sets, our standard cookie cutter set is 20. You can add to that, okay? The bags and, uh, uh, provide a storage solution for the classroom. Online lessons, all the content for the tool for, for a particular grade level. And then the fully interactive digital tool. You can use any one of the tools, numbers on or off, with uh, logic covers. But you can jump to any one of the tools. Right? So that's all included in the set. As far as the books go, if you want to buy the print matter, $5 for the student, $10 for the teacher. Building number, understanding operations. Yep. So what are you looking to do in your math curriculum? What are you looking to address in your buildings? So, if you want to share this, I'm going to yeah, share Yeah, she wants a catalog. This. Yep, I'm going, to, I'm going to go through this real quick. This is for elementary, then I'll talk to you about middle school. So, for an elementary, a very good way to, um, if, if there's an initiative in, in your building to really beef up your math curriculum and do this for K4, especially for like this, maybe this sets in for the older grades, this would bring me out for a workshop, okay? Three hour workshop, that's the all in price. All right, and that's the class sets there. Those are the class sets, one per grade level. And this includes the digital, like online, like what you're showing up here as well. Yep. And so if you want to share this with your math team in your building, go to our homepage. This is our homepage. Here's the digital app that, that I just showed you, right on our homepage. Click on one of the tools, that'll take you to a tool page. Any one of the tool pages, you can watch YouTube videos, download the lessons, and check out um, the scope and sequence for all the books. Yep. So for middle school. Oh, yep. Yep, absolutely. Thank you.